Hey everybody, this is Connie, and I am part of a collab today. Um, a bunch of us ladies are doing our Ride or Die Makeup Products um, collaboration. And I will list everybody down below, um, everybody's video down below. Please so go ahead and support them. They are wonderful ladies, and we're just having so much fun doing this collab. And this is for 2015, stuff that, that we really... Um, loved for the year and just didn't want to do without. So let's just get right started. I've got quite a few things. Um, I don't even know where to start. How about primers? Now this I found at the end of the year and I it is my favorite all-time primer and it is Spackle Tinted Under Makeup Primer in Ethereal by Laura Geller. I recommend this so highly. It is absolutely a beautiful pr primer. It goes on like a dream. Um, you don't even know you have it on. It, I love it. So that is my ride or die. Let's go primer. with um, foundations. And I can't really say that I found a ride or die foundation this year. But... The one that I liked the most out of all of them that I tried was the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25-hour uh, um, foundation. And it usually doesn't come in a pump. I bought this pump for it. Uh, that's one of the things that I hated about this, that it was just came in a pour bottle. It didn't come with a pump. But this is um, with Comfort Serum. Broad Spectrum SPF 20 Sunscreen, and I got this in 091 Light Ivory, and that's what that looks like. It's a very good foundation, but I can't say that it is, um, it is the best one that I have tried so far. I'll put it that way. Mascara, and I have two mascaras that I can't decide which one I like the best. And the, the, this one here is very new. To me they're both sample sizes I haven't been able to get the full size yet but the first one is the Smashbox full exposure and that is in um, jet black and that's what this one looks like I do kind of like those big big ones I really do like this one and um, I've, I've heard good things and bad things about this mascara, but I love it. This would be my holy, holy grail, probably. And I will probably, if I can ever afford it again, um, get a full-size one of this one. And this is the Urban Decay Perversion um, Bigger, Blacker, Batter. And this is in, it doesn't say, but I absolutely, I love this mascara. Um, I've heard some some big YouTubers say they don't like it, but I do. I love this mascara. That's that's probably the favorite out of the two. Okay, so let's go with brow products. And if, if you've been watching me at all for a while, you know that I like the brow mascara. I don't like the pencils at all. And I have got two that I really like. Um, the first one is... Um, I believe, I don't know if this is a trial size or if this is the size of their um, brow mascaras. But this is Ulta Brow Tint in Light. And it is just a little bit light for me. That I mean, but it's got the little itty bitty um, wand on it that I kind of like. I like this color better though. This is the NYX uh, Mascara. Tinted Brow Mascara in Brunette, the, and I love this one. I just love this one. I like this longer um, wand, that it's just easier to maneuver. Okay, let's go to, let's go to blushes. No, let's go to eyeshadows. Um, I have two there, too, and they're both high-end. Um, I actually have more than that. But I, I stuck myself with two. And this one here is towards the end of the year I got the Stardust. Um, and it's two by Too Faced. It's by Vegas Nay. Too Faced by Vegas Nay Stardust Palette. 
and it's got beautiful, absolutely beautiful colors in it. They aren't, they are not powdery at all. They are very um, opaque. They they stay on your eyes, and they're just absolutely beautiful colors. I love this gold in the bottom there. But that, I would say this is my favorite of all time so far eyeshadow palette. The next one is, um, I, I don't hear a whole lot about this. I don't know, maybe it, we did when it first came out. It's probably been out a couple years. But it's the Naked Urban Decay on the Run palette. I love this palette. Um, the first row has got your eyeshadows, which are wonderful, and your blush, your your bronzer, your blush, and your highlight. Um, I never use, I've used this for eyeshadow, but not for, I don't contour. So, um, but I absolutely love this. It comes with a perversion eyeshadow. It comes with a Kajal pencil, and it comes with a lip gloss, which I love this lip gloss, actually. And it is naked. Let me see if I can read this. S E. Oh, let's see. Do I have this upside down? Just says ultra nourishing gloss. S E S S O is what it is. And this is what that looks like. It's very pretty. I will swatch that for you. A um, little bit sticky when it first goes on, but it doesn't last very long. I am not a gloss person, if anybody who knows me knows that. But um, anyway, there you are. Hello. Okay, so those are my eyeshadow palettes. And I guess that's a blush palette, too, because I do like that blush. Although, their blushes can be a little powdery, so you have to make sure you tap your brush off. Okay, let's go on to other blushes. I have got three of them here. And the only reason I've got two of these is because I absolutely love this formula. This is the Milani Rose, um, Romantic Rose and Tea Rose. Aren't they beautiful? But they are such gorgeous um, blushes, and they are just so beautiful on the skin. That's why I did this. And the other one is, I really like using these when I've got um, foundation on, because they don't stick on me when I don't have foundation. But it is the Cream, um, cream Blush by Stila, and this is in Petunia, is this one. So those are my blushes. I'm sorry I didn't choose just one, but it's so hard to choose one. Okay, let's go with the highlighters, and I have three of those. I actually have more of them, but these are the three that I love the most. First one is my Cindy Luminizer. I absolutely love this one. And this is by um, The Balm. Isn't that beautiful? That is just so beautiful. And then my Becca, of course, Opal. Just, I mean, that, that color just slays me. I love that one. And then I really, really like the L'Oreal Lumi. Um, this is for a neutral undertone. But what's it called? It is in rose, but it is so beautiful. Whoops. And this has got a brush under it, too, but uh, I love that. And I also love, I have two color pops that I absolutely love highlighters. Um, powder. I'm looking here to see what else I have. I don't have a whole lot left. But po for powdering my face after, for, for setting my makeup, I have the Bare Skin or Bare Minerals Bare Skin Perfecting Veil in light to medium that I love. It comes in a compact like this, and this is what it looks like. It's got a little bit of a little puff too that I didn't remember that it had. That I can maybe use on something else. Okay, down to lipsticks. 
I want to get this in this done first. Okay, lipsticks. My holy grail lipstick. I wear this one a lot um, during the day. I love this lipstick. This is Milani and it's in Pretty Natural, number 43. This, I love the color of this lipstick. This is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. And this is what it is. That is my favorite, favorite lipstick of the year. But my second, I really like this one. This is Bare Minerals, and it's Moxie Live Large. If I can get this apart here. But the only thing is, um, it's got a smell that I don't like. It's really, and, and I can't describe it. It's just kind of an icky smell. I don't like it very much. But it does not last, and it, do, it doesn't seem like it transfers because I can't smell it after I have it on my lips. But that is what that is. Isn't that beautiful? And this is, um, feels more of a matte color than, than the, um, the Pretty Natural does. But the Pretty Natural stays on very well for not saying it's a matte. So anyway, that is it for my um, live ride or die makeup items for the year. Um, I'm probably forgetting some. I didn't choose a concealer because I am still looking for that one concealer that I love that really conceals things for me, and I have not found it yet. And um, like I said, liquid eyeliner, um, I'm kind of looking for one of those, too. I have not found one of them. Lip gloss. I showed you a lip gloss, but I am really not a lip gloss person. Um, I don't like the stickiness of it. Uh, makeup brushes. I didn't... My favorite makeup brushes are, of course, my uh, Real Techniques brushes. My powder brush and my blush brush. I mean, they're dirty right now, you can see, but I use these more than any other brush I own. Um, if I have blush to put on, or if I have a, um, high, a highlighting or a, a powder to put on, these are the two brushes I reach for. And I have lots of br brushes. <laughs> um, I don't see anything else um, that I use a ton. I use, um, nope, that's it. That's all I'm going to say. I wish that I had um, more for you, but I don't. And I probably broke the rules by doing two or three instead of doing one item. But anyway, please check out the ladies that are down below. Um, Please go ahead and support them. This was a fun collab to do. They're all lovely ladies. So I will talk to you in my next video. Bye-bye.